Battery Commodity Update 29th of October and I'm taking you to a bit higher elevation. We're actually here at 1,400 meters in the valley here in central Switzerland. Starting right away with Joby Aviation. Fantastic news with the FAA creating a new category of aircraft for the first time in 80 years since the helicopter. That of course absolutely crucial that the Federal Aviation Authority is now able to then certify the aircraft of Joby, the S4, so that Joby can start regular service in 2025. Joby currently being pre-revenue and that of course absolutely a big major milestone. ASTS, Space Mobile, all five Bluebird satellites in orbit have unfolded. So they're now getting ready for testing with at t Verizon. It's going to be absolutely fascinating to see how that testing goes along. On lithium, Argentina is bringing a huge lithium plant into production that might make them the largest producer early as of 2025 with 25,000 tons per year just from that single production site and talking about silver China is actually acquiring silver like crazy in Peru directly and Mexico and Bolivia and bypassing the normal commodity futures uh, trading platforms and that's supposed to be due to the lack of production in China and the increase in demand from industrial production also in China. So very interesting what's going to happen there. Do check out the research articles from my friends at uh, Gold Invest. And last but not least, um, Silver Crown Royalties, they sealed yet another deal. I look forward to, to catching up with Peter on exactly what that means, but good market sentiment on silver right now. Thanks everyone for joining and supporting our channel. Take care.